As of right now in California, our state spends $12 billion a year for our corrections department to house about 115,000 people in our state. Just by comparison, the entire budget for UC and CSU that we give is only $16 billion. And that's for every UC and every CSU across the state. Our criminal justice system is not working the way it should be. It's not always protecting us. It's not always serving us. And given that level of expenditure, I would be proud if all 115,000 of those folks could come out and actually have a better life, actually have learned from what happened, actually be rehabilitated, which is what the department is. It's corrections and rehabilitation. Unfortunately, uh, we haven't done as good a job in that realm as we could have. And so I was so proud when uh, Ms. Blount came to me to author AB 2942 to give people a second chance. You're looking at a grateful man here today. You know, I, I, it's so surreal. I have, I've been out almost 60 days now. I'm on full-time employment and I'm registered for college. I have my kids in my life. I have my God in my life. I have my wife in my life. You're looking at a miracle standing here. If God did it for me, then he can do it for you too. We know, and research supports this, that there are hundreds of thousands of people in prison across this country that don't need to be there. By that I mean that they have done a crime, they've done the time, and that they do not pose a public safety risk. But without any kind of intervention, they will remain in prison. And keeping folks in prison isn't free. And guess who pays to keep them in prison? We do. In California, we pay $80,000 a year to house somebody in prison for one year. That doesn't even capture what we would spend if there wasn't an intervention in Mr. Williams' case. He was sentenced to serve life. That means that if DA Steffens and the rest of her incredible team hadn't used this law and intervened, we would be spending over a million dollars to house somebody like Mr. Williams in prison, unnecessarily and for what?